reasons Nigeria should blame Nigeria government over killing in Wari PDP. The People's Democratic Party PDP has enjoined Nigerians to hold the presidency and the All Progressive Congress APC responsible for the extrajudicial execution of an innocent Nigerian by security operatives in Wari Delta State. PDP blamed the killing by security operatives who were enforcing the stay-at-home order on the federal government's insensitivity. The former ruling party stressed that the killing would have been averted if the federal government had made palliatives available to cushion the economic effect of the lockdown. A statement signed by PDP's National Publicity Secretary, Kola Olubodia insisted that such acts of violence against Nigerians cannot be condoned or justified any under disguise. According to Olubodia, Nigerians should hold Buhari and presidency and the APC responsible for the killing of the worry boy as well as the reported brutalization of Nigerians. Such ugly situations would have been averted if the APC controlled federal government and had heeded wide, wise counsel by the PDP and other well-meaning Nigerians and made adequate provisions for social palliatives that cushioned the economic challenges of the lockdown. The former ruling party lamented that the APC-led federal government has failed to shelve heat its political interests and heed advice on how to cushion the effect of the current tide in the country. PDP added, the APC government had failed to shelve its political interests and heed good suggestions to implement calls to cut taxes, reduce fall price, and use the state and local governments to channel essential commodities to poor Nigerians whose means of survival comes only from their daily struggle on the streets and markets. Blame the APC and its administration for embodying acts of violence and extrajudicial killing by security operatives following their failure to bring perpetrators of such acts to book as even details in report by various reputable international organizations including Amnesty International, Transparency International, European Union, United States, and the Department of um, State. Daily Post has reported that soldiers enforcing the lockdown order in Delta State amid the coronavirus scare had killed a young man identified as Joseph Pesu in Wari. Pesu was shot dead in Adaval, Ayenaga Junction in Oguangwe community in Wari South local government area of the state. So my people, um, this is um, PDP um, coming out and um, speaking up against um, the ruling party APC. They are saying that um, Nigerians should blame um, the government and um, the APC for the killing that happened um, in Delta State. And um, to, to be quite honest, um, um, they, they made a point here they said this killing would have been averted. It would have been averted if APC and um, the, the presidency had listened to uh, um, Nigerians that have spoken. And we know the likes of the people that have spoken regarding this lockdown in the earlier times. Uh, we know we noticed that um, um, Wale Shonika spoke, a noble uh, Loretta, he spoke concerning this, um, this lockdown. And um, um, the, the effects, they, they didn't look at the effect of this lockdown before they even enacted it. And come to think of it, Nigeria is among the countries where this, uh, this COVID-19, it's not, the cases are very, very minute. So far, I don't think we've recorded up to even 10 deaths as a result of COVID. So, um... Um, but but the, the way they are, they are going about this is, is really is, is, it's unbelievable. Now lives are being lost because of this. They are, they are, they are, and they are imposing a lockdown um, for, without putting into consideration for those who their daily ends meet comes from the street. They get it on a daily basis. So if they don't go out, nothing will come out for them. And then um, PDP, they are really not happy about this. 
they've spoken out. They are saying Nigerians should hold um, um, the presidency um, responsible for this. And what we are saying here, yeah, uh, even if we're going to hold the presidency responsible, life has already been lost. That young man, his life is gone. His life is not going to come back. So this is what we've been crying out to him to the presidency. He imposed the lockdown. What Wale Shoenka was saying, he was saying that president is unconstitutional for the president to impose a lockdown without a sitting. And I believe that in that sitting, they will look at the effect. What would the effect of this lockdown be? And also in that meeting, they could look also that okay, what 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 is the what do we have to to give these people to to reassure them that even if you are home, this and this and this has been made available for you. So you are not going to be in total uh, um, hunger or you are not just going to be in torture. That In that way, I don't think people will be in the streets. Probably that young man would have not been in the streets at that time of the incident. And it's truly unbelievable if we look at it, why um, it's military and that will be enforcing this lockdown with guns on the streets. It shows how our country is. It shows how, how backward we are. We are trying to we are trying to learn. We are trying to copy from other nations. We are trying to uh, we were forgetting the fact that we are still third world war. We are trying to copy all of this and see what's happened. So um, people of Nigeria and uh, PDP have spoken out. Um, they want us to hold them um, the presidency responsible i want us um, to give our take i want us to say what we think about them um, what um, um apc the ruling government what they are doing and even what as, as this has happened the president has not even given a speech he has not even spoken up concerning this that has happened for the life that has been lost not to covid but to his um to his order of the lockdown so people i want us to um drop your comments please do leave us um your comment let's share your thoughts let's know what you think about this um happening at the moment and what just um went on um, in worry in delta state i want to take this time to say thank you to everyone that have subscribed to us if you haven't yet subscribed please do press on the subscribe button down below and also click on the notification bell as it enables you to get update of all of our latest news as they come in we want to say thank you once again please do like share comment subscribe do everything that you need to do to get this out there we want the presidency to hear this this will get to them they are going to hear all of this till i come your way again bye for now and god bless